Hey, so I got one of the questions from the YouTube channel and this question is from one of the guys who have just started working on JavaScript and this question is how do I install JavaScript? Because I've seen people explaining me what JavaScript is using the console from the developer tools on a browser or the way they have used is inside HTML. So they have explained me writing script tags and then injecting JavaScript files into the script tags using HTML. So before I answer this question to you, one of the primary things that we have to look into this is how generally we get into this programming stream. So most people out there, including me, have started their programming journey either with one of those languages like Python, uh, very, uh, you know, very much used these days, uh, even in uh, very big uh, universities like Stanford or Harvard or whatever it is. Uh, even I think CS50 starts with, uh, it suggests you use Python. Uh, so it's Python, C Sharp, Java or something else. Uh, basically most colleges, universities pick up these languages to teach people programming is because you can easily understand the essence of programming. That's the object oriented concepts, the design patterns, the solid principles, inheritance, interfaces, uh, how do you uh, create objects, how do you make instances, how do you do all these stuff and they are easy to explain because you're gonna go create a class, instantiate it, then have a parent class, then inherit it, uh, have an interface defined, then implement it. That's how these things are very easy to understand uh, when you go with one of these languages, either Python, C Sharp, Java. So when I, when everyone, uh, including me start working on these concepts we install them uh, somehow we install we go to python.org and install python we go to java and get the java installer done then we go to microsoft we get uh, .NET framework with c sharp or f sharp installed and we start working on it but this is not the case with javascript uh, most of the tutorials out there so how do i install it so this is essentially the way we have been taught on how do we learn programming it's not essentially the way how they are you know how they work so when people say how do i install javascript it is not that they are asking how do i install it like python or java uh, it is they are asking a different paradigm shift they are asking how do i get into this different paradigm shift where uh, javascript is a bit different from how do i install other scripting languages uh, so the answer is you don't really install JavaScript. Uh, you can you have JavaScript running in your console. That's why people teach you uh, using the Dev Tools console uh, because most browsers out there uh, implement one or the other kind of engines of their own. Uh, say if you are going with Chrome, they have V8. Uh, if you are going with uh, Mozilla, they have uh, Spider Monkey, and if you are going with IE Edge, uh, then you you working with Chakra, which is from Microsoft. Uh, so if you really wanna install JavaScript, how uh, we can do it a bit closer to how you do it with Python, and uh, this is done using Node.js. So if you're gonna go install Node.js, probably you can see a similar structure of how you installed Python to that with the JavaScript. You can have uh, the way you have written your .py files in your Python, you can write your .js files in your Node.js and uh, the way you have used Python console in your terminal can be used, uh, you have the same kind of a set and same kind of a way to approach JavaScript using the console inside your terminal when you say Node.js. So when you say type, when you type Python in your console and you say uh, you have the Python terminal, it's the same way how do you do it with Node.js. So I think pretty much I've answered your question. So if you really want to get a feel of how you work with Python, uh, with JavaScript, I would suggest you go install Node.js and get yourself uh, used with it and get your hands dirty there and all the very best. Thank you. Uh, post any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll be happy to take them. Bye-bye. Until then, see you.